Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. It's the, let's see what time it is. 2.06 in the morning and it is officially 2015 so happy new years to all of you out there in radio land. This is Block Brewing Company, Block House Brewing's Double Chocolate Buck. Alright, I think this was a, I know the, let's see, it's a, apparently it's by the Pittsburgh Brewing Company, but uh, in, in a exactly brewed and bottled La Trobe, <coughs> I actually heard that has something to do with a couple different uh, licensed brewing companies now, that basically that's what they do there. Um, had a big brew day, so the whole place is a mess. But, uh, let's see, a double chocolate box, malt beverage with natural flavors and caramel color. Well, well, look at that. So, get your chemi get your chemistry set out. This is masked by just by just by that title. I'm gonna run this as a chemistry set macro beer so we'll see if we have another Young's and Wells and Young's on our hand uh, apparently <coughs> they say that Blockhouse Brewing Company is out of Lawrenceville Pennsylvania I think but uh, it doesn't really say it on here there's the logo for Blockhouse but uh, yeah that's what it says definitely got a serious chocolate note on there actually smells very similar to the chocolate you'll get out of double chocolate stout by Wells and Young's Wells and Young yep it's just a really nice baker's chocolate milk chocolate smell nothing much more than that it's very bold alright let's get a taste on it it looks nice looks nice in the glass no doubt there Smooth, low medium body. Um, don't get any flavors except chocolate. So you're just basically drinking chocolate. Um, box don't have the strongest flavors in the world. So if you put a bunch of caramel color and chocolate flavor, artificial flavor in there, yeah, it's gonna overpower the drink. So. Mm. There's no reason in the world a craft beer, crafted beer, a real craft beer should be using, I don't even know if you can see it because this camera doesn't zoom for the best, caramel color. That is chemistry set bullshit. So, not happy about that. But if you just like the, the flavor of chocolate, the flavor of chocolate a slight almost uh, soda cola like sweetness in the back of that or the caramel almost a soda cola like sweetness behind all that chocolate it's a medium light body you can drink a lot of these I don't even know the ABV I don't even know if it tells you the ABV 6.5% holy fuck so <laughs> it'll screw you the hell up it's easy to drink it's actually not that bad at all if you can get for the fact that they're using colors which means they're using e, e numbers and chemicals and things like that I mean if you can get past that it's 10.99 a six pack pretty damn easy to drink for the chocolate box style I think it's spot on um, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it's right where it's supposed to be double chocolate butt big old chocolate flavor soft on the box but box are soft so if you put a big old chocolate flavor on there it's gonna mask it so I can understand that um, not too happy about the whole color and blah 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 but you know what you don't want to hear me bang on about that so this definitely isn't the first drink of the night uh, there's a wine bottle that's empty and a couple beers so now this is gonna be next to the slaughter a uh, big shout out to Lee Russell just watched Dawn of the Dead with the commentary Day of the Dead with the commentary. Now I'm going back to Laserdisc. Slap it on Night of the Living Dead. Listen to the commentary on that too. So cheers to you. Cheers to your horror show, Rick. A oh, Rich. <coughs> He's a Rick. Yeah, fuck you too. Anyway, cheers. 
Blockhouse Brewing Company. Give it a check out. Let me know what you think. It does have nice, nice lacing. I mean, it's a well put together beer, even though they use some chemicals. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. You have yourself a great New Year's. Cheers. <laughs>